Uh, good morning or afternoon, everyone, for wherever you are. Appreciate you joining today. Um, slide here, uh, I like this with a little bit of humor. Uh, you'll see uh, sort of the picture of a standard scrum uh, graphic there of iteration cycles and uh, some snails down there saying, uh, looks interesting, but uh, what is a sprint? <clears throat> when I first saw this, um, I thought whoever drew that, um, I wonder if they were poking fun at uh, uh, us project managers. Um, and it basically uh, posed the question to me uh, that I've been asking for several years is, are we still relevant in this new world of Agile? 2007, uh, when I released uh, my book, The Strategic Project Leader, Mastering Service-Based Project Leadership, um, I made a bold prediction, I guess, back then. Um, I said in the uh, lower right-hand corner, you can uh, see, uh, we must redefine ourselves if we are to be, um, uh, if we are to prosper in our careers, um, and we must uh, uh, do so before others do it uh, for us. And I think what we've seen here um, <clears throat> over the past several years uh, is more and more organizations um, in implementing different types of uh, project methodologies than what we might have been used to um, in terms of, uh, especially if we're traditional project managers following waterfall or life cycle um, development methodologies or project methodologies. <clears throat> So I think the, the, the core of this presentation is really about um, what do we need to do to sort of update and modify our leadership competencies. The pyramid in the center there is the leadership competency that has been published uh, in, in my book, The Strategic Project Leader, and has been updated in its second edition uh, to basically adjust these leadership competencies uh, for this new world of uh, agile that we are in. So you'll notice uh, this is sort of the elephant in a room, I think, in a lot of organizations. Uh, very often in the uh, classes that I facilitate around Agile, people certainly ask me, well, what is the role of the project manager? How do we, how do we fit in? What's going to happen in the future? And, and you can tell just by this slide that uh, the terminology has changed dramatically, right? Uh, instead of critical path, we have time boxes. Instead of lessons learned, we have retrospectives. Um, <clears throat> And uh, instead of status reports, we have uh, information radiators. And you can see that um, the, the, the lexicon and the terminology has changed, even though uh, some of it is still core to what we do in terms of what we learned as uh, project practitioners. Uh, we've got to get adjusted to um, this, this elephant in the room and this new terminology. <clears throat> Uh, one of the things that gets asked very often is, is what is the uh, project manager's role in Scrum? Uh, the latest survey that came out um, um, by uh, um, version one that conducts an annual survey says that over 54% uh, or 54% 54 of companies practicing agile development practices actually uh, practice Scrum. <clears throat> so I thought that might be a good area to actually get started in to sort of look at what has really happened uh, over the past several years and how this is impacting uh, our roles and what we need to do to change our, um, our approach in terms of how we work in this new world. Uh, if you look at this, uh, there's several challenges on these next few slides that uh, will be presented in terms of uh, how um, a project manager might respond to the challenge versus, say, a scrum master, which is a typical role in, in scrum. We know that we have the, the Scrum Master, the, uh, the Agile team, and the product owner are some of the, the key roles uh, defined in the, in the Scrum process. Uh, the first challenge is, is what is a, uh, around the, the product backlog size and that uh, if there's a change in requirements, uh, the project manager might see that as scope creep and will consider it a risk and uh, mitigate the change by using change control procedures, whereas a Scrum Master would engage uh, the product owner and, and through their ability to, to groom the backlog and evaluate pro progress and, and reprioritize um, what needs to be done in, in the next iteration. Um, so my point here is, is that maybe in the past in terms of how we've been taught and trained as project managers, uh, we focus too much on the process uh, and not on the value of what the customer is trying, uh, trying to achieve. The next challenge is around percent complete. And again, 
all of these are right on the uh, Scrum Alliance um, uh, website. It's out there in public domain. Um, so percent complete, the uh, project managers uh, may, may focus on uh, tracking percent complete, 90% uh, complete, uh, to continually show progress. And that's something that very often we have to do as project managers, collect information, report progress so we can show our functional managers or our executives that we're continuing to make progress across a whole portfolio of projects. The Scrum Master is more focused on the definition of done or the what is complete. Um, and, and, and more importantly, uh, if it's not complete, what is the remaining work that needs to be done to make it complete? So it's a different mindset uh, that um, the Scrum uh, Alliance calls out here in terms of how a project manager thinks and a Scrum Master thinks. Um, so in this case, maybe we're more worried about reporting progress instead of uh, uh, focusing on the results, or maybe that's the way we've been uh, brought up to, to manage projects. Another challenge is an incorrect user story. The project manager may get too detailed in trying to uh, break down things into detailed tasks and hammocks and assign those tasks out and the dependencies and get lost in the schedule, whereas the uh, Scrum Master will challenge the team uh, to make sure that the user store is following basic requirements uh, and making sure that it's, uh, it can be understood and that the team can then self-organize around that to solve that user story. Um, so maybe we fail to facilitate a level of self-organization um, in our uh, previous lives as project managers. Um, <clears throat> another one is uh, changes in a sprint. Um, so long as the change is approved by the client, the project manager uh, might look at techniques such as crashing or fast tracking to try to get this done within the within the schedule time frame, uh, where the Scrum Master is more likely to challenge the changes within the uh, sprint um, and um, make sure that uh, the um, if there are any changes that they provide maximum value uh, to uh, to the sprint. So maybe we lack the courage to challenge others. Um, uh, as we uh, manage our schedules and our, and our budgets. Um, <clears throat> and this is basically sort of gets to the, the, the crux of it. Scrum doesn't even specifically call out a role for a project manager. Um, and if you read this, you can actually, uh, it's, it actually gets to the point of saying that um, from a mentality standpoint and in terms of how project managers have been traditionally uh, trained uh, and how they think, that they don't even recommend retrofitting project managers into scrum masters, uh, that the organizations are likely uh, to fail. So to me, this is a pretty uh, bold statement. I think that there's a, uh, I think the elephant that had all those agile terms is, is appropriate here because this is the elephant in the room and a lot of people aren't talking about it, that uh, there are there's significant efforts underway in, in our industries to change the way we work uh, using agile methods and we have to seriously evaluate how this impacts us. Um, here for the, uh, the final one here being, uh, even if you go to uh, take a, a test on the, uh, to become a certified Scrum Master, uh, you can see uh, the, the answer to this question is which concept is not defined in the Scrum framework, uh, and the answer is uh, choice two, uh, the project manager. Actually what's happened here is I think that um, um, the, the baby is being thrown out with the bathwater, and, and, and us being the baby as traditional project managers, which uh, this, those are the ranks that I've grown up in, um, we have to be careful that uh, we don't get swept away from this and, and basically uh, rendered obsolete. Uh, we've got to change our thought, press, uh, our, our thought processes, change our competencies to fit in with this new dynamic. Talk a little bit about how uh, some of these agile principles impact project managers today, and how they sharply uh, 